After a patient's been diagnosed with breast cancer, we would then discuss their treatment plans, both with the surgical oncologist, the breast surgeon, and me as a plastic surgeon to plan their, number one, their removal of the cancer, and number two, the reconstructive options. As far as surgery is concerned, and the surgery related to breast cancer patients usually have two options. You have something called breast conservation therapy that involves just taking out the lump itself, and then you get radiation therapy afterwards. The second option, as far as surgery is concerned, is to have a mastectomy where you take off all the breast tissue. Then most of the, most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, you don't need radiation therapy. And then we do something called a sentinel lymph node biopsy where we check the first one or two, two or three lymph nodes that drain that breast tissue and uh, see if there's any other further procedures needed. But those are the two main options as far as surgery is concerned. Reconstructive options can happen in what's called an immediate fashion. So they would have their surgery to remove the cancer, a mastectomy or lumpectomy, and then immediate reconstruction would follow in the same surgical setting. There is delayed reconstruction. So based on if they have their cancer tr or their surgery um, by the breast surgeon, they have their mastectomy, then they get their cancer therapy postoperatively then we would follow that with reconstruction in a delayed manner. Usually when we are seeing the patients, we see you when you get your abnormal mammogram. And so we will see you in the office, examine you, talk to you about what we need to do. We'll get you scheduled for a biopsy, usually at Vera West. And then it takes us about a week to get the pathology report back. We'll see you back in the office about a week after the biopsy and talk to you about the results of the biopsy itself. And then talk about what we need to do from there, what your surgical options are, and hopefully get surgery scheduled at that point if you need it. At uh, our multidisciplinary conference, when we identify the problem, we then, as a team, identify the treatment options that the patient can have. And usually it will involve either a complete mastectomy versus a lumpectomy. And based upon which treatment option is selected by the patient, will determine what kind of therapy that they require afterwards. If a patient has a mastectomy, sometimes they can avoid radiation therapy. Whereas if they have a lumpectomy, sometimes they are required to have, or we recommend having radiation therapy. So those are the options that the patients will be presented with, and it will be ultimately to be dictated by their own personal set of circumstances. Based upon which option they choose will determine what sort of reconstructive options that they either need or want to have. For most patients, it, the type of surgery that you have, whether it's breast conservation therapy or mastectomy, will be your choice. There are very few instances in which a mastectomy is, is necessary, but, but there are instances in which that is the case. I have found that most patients, when they come in the office, they know what they want the second they walk in the door, and they've known that for years if they ever got a cancer diagnosis. Some people need to have the discussion, and then there are some people that whether the cancer's in more than one spot or the size of the tumor itself, there are some patients that a mastectomy is gonna to need to be recommended, but that's probably gonna be the exception rather than the rule. The plans can be very complex and we tailor it specifically to the patient for their anatomy, their desires, and what their cancer stage is. The other thing that has happened is having the breast center has allowed us a couple things. It gets us board certified physicians. It gets us access to, we didn't have a board certified radiation oncologist before. We, we now have that. We did not have plastic surgeons readily available. We had to refer those services out. And now because of the breast center, we've been able to recruit those physicians here. And it gives us a, a, an alley to recruit those physicians because they want to participate in the breast program and provide those services to our patients.